Right, so in this video we're going to look at um, three problems in kinematics at the IGCSE level. Enjoy. Right, so question one. A car accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 15 metres per second in 10 seconds. After travelling at this constant speed for 16 seconds, it is brought to rest with uniform retardation, which means deceleration, in 6 seconds. Find the total distance the car travels in this motion. Now the best way to do this is to sketch a graph, uh, a speed time graph, and just plot what happens as you read it. Um, so the first thing is it accelerates from rest, which means the starting speed was 0 up to 15 meters per second, and it takes a certain time to do that. We can mark it on the uh, horizontal axis, 10 seconds. That's the first section. And then in the second section, we are told it maintains a constant speed for another 16 seconds. So we need to add on 16 seconds to the 10, gives us 26, and just have a flat line uh, of 15 to that point. The last section, it experiences a constant deceleration of well, we're not sure what the value is, but we know it takes 6 seconds to get down to 0. So that's another 6. Added on to 26 gives us 32. That's not very clear. Try that again. Yeah, that's better. Right, so the problem really is to find the total area under the um, graph. So this means finding this triangle here, this rectangle, and this triangle area and adding all three of these areas together. So looking at the first triangle, we have half base times height. So it's going to be half of 10 times 15, which would be 5 times 15. And that, of course, will give us 75. So this area here is 75 meters. And the rectangle in the middle here, we've got um, a base of 16 and a height of 15. So just punching that in to the calculator we get 240 meters. And then in the final section we have half base times height for that triangle um, which would be 3 times 15, um, 45 meters. All we need to do now is simply add together 240, sorry, 75 plus 240 plus 45. And we should get 360 meters. So the total distance is 360 meters. Question 2. An object accelerates from rest with an acceleration of 3 this should be 3.0 meters per second squared, of course, for 4.0 seconds, it should say. So let's just put those points in there. Well, that's a point, but this is minus 2, of course. Question A, what is the final velocity? Now, to do this, use the equation V equals U plus AT, but, of course, U is 0, um, which simplifies it to V equals a times t, so we just multiply 3 times 4, we get 12 meters per second. That's the answer for A. B, what is the average velocity in the first 4 seconds? Well, you're really just averaging two numbers, um, the initial velocity 0 and the final velocity 12, so the average velocity VAV would be U plus V over 2, the average of two numbers, and in this case we of course get 12 divided by 2 is 6 meters per second. How far did the object travel during this time? So, to find out the distance traveled, we use the average speed and we multiply it by the time. 6 times 4 gives us 24 meters. 
Question D, how long will the object take to reach a velocity of 24 meters per second? Um, we need to rearrange the equation V equals U plus AT to make T the subject. So if we did that, you'd do this. T equals V minus U divided by A. Plugging in the numbers, we want to reach 24 for the final speed. Our initial is still 0, so we can just ignore that and divide simply by the acceleration of 3. So we get 8 seconds. It would take 8 seconds to reach 24 metres per second. OK, question 3. A car speeds up from a speed of 10 metres per second with an acceleration of 1.5 meters per second squared for 6.0 seconds. Question A, what is the final velocity? So you are finding V and that equals U, the initial velocity, plus A, the acceleration multiplied by time. If you plug those numbers in, you have to add 10, which is the initial velocity U, on to 1.5 times 6. Um, so that gives you 9, of course, 9 plus 10. Therefore, for question A, the result is 19 meters per second. Question B, what is the average velocity in the first 6 seconds? So we're taking the average of two numbers to get this, of course, it's um, the initial plus the final velocity, V, divided by 2. So in this case, it's 10 plus 19 divided by 2. 29 divided by 2 gives you 14.5 metres per second. OK, question C. How far did the object travel during this time? Now, to find the distance you need to multiply the average speed VAV times the time. Uh, so you are multiplying 14.5 the average velocity or speed times the 6 seconds that it took to accelerate. And if you do that you get 87 metres. Okay, question D <clears throat> How long will the object take to reach a velocity of 22 metres per second? To do this, we need to <clears throat> rearrange this equation, V equals U plus AT, to make T the subject. <clears throat> so, doing that, we get T equals V minus U over A. And plugging the numbers in, we've got 22 minus... 10 divided by 1.5, which gives us uh, 12 divided by 1.5, of course that's 8.0 seconds. That's how long it would take to reach 22 meters per second if we had started at uh, assuming we start at the same speed of 10 metres per second.